Hey, what is up everybody? It is Sebastian here. How are you doing? How is my crew? What is going on? Today, I'm coming at you with an unboxing video. Yes, the Sea of Thieves something. Because it's from Rare. I got this package on launch day, on the day before launch technically. I got this package. I'm assuming like it's got to be from Rare. It's from England. We're going to open it up, see what's inside. I've already done this part for us. So, I'm so friggin' excited to open this up. I don't know what it is, but it's something about Sea of Thieves. And without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, look at this. Look at this box. It's like a treasure chest. It's got the fire burnt in like logo on it of the Sea of Thieves. Look how dope that is. Pretty heavy, actually. Well, it's not heavy, but it's. I think it's real wood or plywood or like. I don't know. Let's open it up. <laughs> oh my god. Look, look at this. Oh my god. Okay, this is actually freaking dope. Okay, let's just do it while I've never done something like this. I think what this is is a Sea of Thieves press kit it's got to be it's got to be like a see if these press kit you know how all video games whenever they come out developers send out press kits to like people for them to review and media and stuff like that and i think that's what one of this is i think i got lucky enough to get one i don't know it's oh, i'm freaking excited okay first things first there's a t-shirt it's beautiful we've seen this design before little golden thing on the back it says seethese.com slash insider but it's a golden beautiful t-shirt I'm gonna go put it on right now I'm not gonna let you see my beautiful naked body though I'm gonna go off camera for that oh my god guys it's actually beautiful look at how cool this is like that's friggin dope and it fits pretty good too actually wow it's very sleek it's golden this will go perfectly with my 47 other Sea of Thieves t-shirts that I will now have to fold and uh, uh, alongside the uh, I played Sea of Thieves first t-shirt yeah that's right you don't have you don't have that dude no no I think I have that one I have that, yeah. guys this was the first ever thing I received from Sea of Thieves like years ago Sea of Thieves at Ask Captain Bones t-shirt you know how old this thing is that's crazy Look how far we've come, guys. Like, oh, this is insane. Comment down below if you've been here since, like, this. Since this t-shirt. When I was fat. Okay, next thing in the box. What are we going to take out first? See if these comic book. I already reviewed this. I guess I didn't have to buy it. But, hey, that's okay. Now I'll have another copy. Maybe I'll give it away. Maybe. I don't know. If you, if you want this comment below maybe I'll do something we'll see what's next okay Sea of Thieves sale flag oh my god it's a Sea of Thieves sale I'm trying to look at it in camera I'm sorry that's freaking cool look at that it's like a flag with the Sea of Thieves emblem and you could actually pin it to something or not pin it like hang it from something Fly the flag of Sea of Thieves, it's real, wow, that's really cool, that's dope. Next up, Sea of Thieves book, Tales from the Sea of Thieves, this is very cool. It's shrink wrapped, I'm gonna open it, I think, yeah, I've gotta open it, let's open it. Now, I, I held out to buy this book, actually, because I was hoping that maybe Rare would send me something like this, or a book anyway, so... It's so cool. It like feels rustic. It actually feels like it. it. Look at the binding on the side. That's so cool. And inside, it's like the lore from Sea of Thieves. Like everything you need to know that you couldn't know just from the game itself will be in here. Recorded and compiled by Captain Flameheart. Right there. He was the guy from a while ago. That's awesome. There's so many references to... From what I've heard about this book, there's so many references to like players and community shoutouts and stuff, including like me, like when we did the E3 trailer in 2016 uh, or 2017, I forget. But there was, I've heard there's a passage in here called the 
first battle, which like is about that trailer and stuff, and it's very cool. This is awesome. It's filled with like beautiful artwork. It's got stories about characters and stuff. If you haven't got this, and you really want to dive in to Sea of Thieves, I recommend picking it up because you could reference it while you're playing and it's like a real book almost it looks like that's very cool I'm very excited to actually read this here here I found it the first battle passage I don't know what page it's on but it's called the first battle and it's actually about the E3 trailer Mike's character is mentioned by name and it talks about the different crews that we were a part of that's very cool it says this I can state that the earliest significant battle to have been recorded and partially was a two day three crew skirmish between more than a dozen young pirates. That That's like, we went there for a few days and that's exactly, there was three crews. That's awesome. Okay, okay, I gotta move on, but this is friggin' cool, especially for like, me, I don't know. Next thing, Sea of Thieves Gold Hoarder. Uh, figure, I'm actually not going to open this, I'm sorry if you wanted me to open it, I'm sure somebody else did, but uh, I really, I like to keep these things in the box, because uh, I'm not going to play with them, so. GameStop EB Games, that's cool. I think it's a really nice figure, I wanted to buy one, it was a little expensive, to be honest with you, from the Sea of Thieves store, so I didn't, um, but I'm really glad that I have one, and if you're into figurines, like this is the only Sea of Thieves one, so it's not like you have to get 47 of them to collect them all. Like, this is the only one. You can get it from the Sea of Thieves store. It's probably worth it if you're really into that kind of thing. Instructions for Grog. Can you read that? Look at that. It's so cool. It actually tells you what you need to make Grog from the game. You need prep time, two minutes. Mix time, two minutes. Total, four minutes. Focus, please. Gosh darn it. One Oz of lime juice, one Oz of brown sugar, one Oz of dark rum, four Oz water. Instruction, add this the brown sugar to your shaker, add in a splash of warm water to dissolve the sugar and add lime juice, put in rum, rest of the water and ice, shake, pour over a smashed ice, serve. I'm sure that's exactly what the pirates on the sea of these did. This is actually really cool. I think it's very cool when people like this do this, like when Fallout was going on, people had Nuka-Cola recipes. This is really cool. I'll actually, I'm going to make this in a video. Um, and I'll put it online and we can make it together. That's really cool. All right, next up, I don't really know what this is. Looks like maybe, it feels glass. There's a me message in a bottle. What is this? Madame Olivia's All Seeing Elixir may contain nuts. That's super funny. I love how Rare has like a sense of humor. And inside this bottle is some kind of note. Oh, it's a code for the game. Um, I'm gonna use this so I can play it right now, but um, but I still got the game. Actually, I'm not I'm not really surprised to be honest. If it's a press kit, they generally give out codes for the game. But this is so freaking cool! Like this is my first ever review code of like a game, and people dream of this. Like I would rent of something like this for having a relationship with a company where they like would send me something like this. That's insane. Um, I'm going to use this code so I can play the game right now, um, so I don't have to wait for my pre-order, but I'm still going to pre-order it to support the game, because I'd really like to, to still support Rare with the money, after all, like, that's why they made this, and, um, and like, th they need the money, I think it, this game is supposed to be very successful, so I'm definitely going to do that, but thank you very much, Rare, I appreciate it. And then, the last thing in here looks to be some kind of art and that means I'm gonna have to buy like a frame or something but I think I know what this art is I can kind of see it oh, oh, oh my god that is so cool okay guys okay 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 this is the art, we've seen this art before, and I think other press kits got different pieces of art, but this one's, not only is it signed by Ryan Stevenson, the art director from Sea of Thieves, 
that's his signature right there. I have something else from when I went there, but that's his signature. I know you can't see it too well, but it's also numbered 968 out of 995. Which means this is limited to 995 press kits, which is friggin' cool. And it feels so weird. I've never held like a piece of paper that's felt like this. I don't even know what it's made of. It's not paper. It feels like thick parchment. Like, I don't know, but that's gorgeous. And it comes with a little certificate of authenticity as well, which I've never had before, so... I don't know guys, overall, this is a beautiful press kit, like, I'm so happy, I'm so blessed, and I know people say that, and maybe like to some YouTubers, or maybe to some of you who see all this like stuff that big YouTubers get, like, this is nothing, but this is so blessed, like I'm just this kid who made videos in high school, about this game, I've been doing it for so long now, and to finally see the game actually come out, and and to, to be honored, honestly, and humbled enough to get something like this from this, like, see if these developer, like, the people there know who I am, is insane. Like, I'm so blessed, and I can't thank them enough and I also can't thank you enough because I know I took a break but for those of you who welcome me back I appreciate it and I'm excited to keep making content it won't be Sea of Thieves forever like I said but Sea of Thieves will always be like one of the deepest connections to video games I will ever have because it started everything and, and I'm never gonna let that go and now that like I know people at Rare like I can follow the next game that they make I know I find myself wondering what's the next for them too I know See if these is going to be a long living game, but I also find myself wondering what's next, and I'm excited to follow them on that journey too. And this is insane. Like, I'm so happy and I'm so blessed. And thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I say it enough. I really do appreciate you. It means a lot. Like, it's taken, I don't know, whatever, eight minutes, six minutes to watch this video. Like, you have no idea how much of a difference it can make in my life. And if you enjoy it and I entertain you or inform you, that's all I could really ask for. And just thank you so incredibly much. I love you guys and gals. And I hope you had a blast. And I'll see you in the next video. I don't know what it's going to be about. Um, I know I'm planning on changing up content in April and maybe I'll make a video about that soon but I uh, hope you guys stick with me for that and uh, yeah I'll talk to you guys soon thank you thank you so much and thank you so much rare it's, thank you yes <laughs> I like the rhyme the rhyme rhymes all of us are born with the miraculous ability to determine the direction from which sounds approach us. Let us venture into new and uncharted land. People get shook up, you know, when I'm introduced as God.